everybody. Welcome back to another reaction. It's your boy Lance here for episode eight of Days with my stepsister. Um, curious where we're going to get here. She started the job and everything, and uh, summer vacation is close to the end, so I wonder if they're going to do anything. The episode title is something about hot milk. Yeah, response on hot milk. So interesting where that title leads us. So let's dive in. Yeah, and he picked up on that pretty pretty easily. It's somebody who has trust issues slash is controlling. Uh, girl? Stepsister. Just stepsister. It's okay. <laughs> Shout out to the little touch there. And most people probably won't even pick up on this. Like, you can hear the beeping of the microwave. And that's the scene for me. She is, because she doesn't want people... She doesn't have to rely on people. It's really who gave her a couple of good memories, though. Right? I feel that. Like I said, like, interesting. He's usually, obviously, uh, uh, Okay, valid point though. She's got a valid point there. Just text her for me and say I'm I'm going to be going. Yeah, she's not too happy, I don't think. But because you, you kind of cornered her a little bit, so she's probably going to go now. Oh, <laughs> bigger in my heart, son. Okay. I think a good college professor, like I was saying, it can can debate you really well. Now it's their attitude about us, the one thing. Oh, well then. Oh, I saw that look beforehand, girl. We all saw that look beforehand. That's a look of jealousy, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. You said it before last episode. Oh, look at her that way. Cute. In the ponytail. Stop shoplifting. Why is there a giraffe? <laughs> That's funny. Man, they got a fully stocked vending machine in the break room? Hell yeah, good for them. He's obviously trying to push her. Like, like the mom was asking. Going shopping, huh? Is it for a bathing suit? Because that would make sense. But yeah, I mean, the mom wants basically him to push her into taking breaks. Just because you you can grow out of things, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to get you you don't have to you, yeah you know what I mean. Just because you, you know, obviously you still enjoy it. It looks like he wants to go, but. Glowing smile. You're not saying you don't want to go, you're just saying you don't have the time. That's two different things. And you can, you have to take time. That's the issue then, right there, that she can't seem to relax. And like the mom was saying, like, you're going to crash. Yeah. 
you have to also be able to enjoy little things in life. You can't just go 100 miles per hour all the time. You, you hit you hit the nail on the head. Contact info. Her face looks sad here. Damn. It's the contact. Yeah. He pushed a little bit, in, but her and she pushed. He she he pushed enough to where she immediately put the wall back up, and she also ran away. Ooh. I don't expect anything from you. Oh, that I meant, yeah. You're so worried about so many things. But you don't have to do it every fucking day. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. No bubbets about it. Bet you're not. Bet you you not. Bet 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 you not. Been a lot of focus on her and her like insecurities and her issues. I do want to see a little more of our mans here. Mm. Film. Oh, that smile. He got the smile. Look, look what happens if you just, just take a second to breathe and relax, right? Little moments. Just to let yourself relax. Take a quick break. Now go get some nap in. Make yourself feel better. There it is. Tomorrow? The day after tomorrow. Call in. Or that. Call in. Just call in. Just call in. <laughs> Just call in. That's all. That's calling. Call in. It's fine. <laughs> or you trade shifts. I'm sure Senpai will help trade shifts. Are we actually getting the pool now? The episode's close to being over. Girl, I'm with you. The, the, the fucking heat sucks. It's because he pushed against your walls. I'll be totally open. Yeah. Oh. Girl, you got a chance. My man's also... It's the way you two interact. My dude. But I think you got your own dramas and issues that we have to, we have to go over. And like somebody was saying before in the comments... I 
do I would like a little more from him, just his eternal thought process. Yeah, we can kind of see it a little bit through his actions and words, but I want to like a diary thing like we get for her. Oh, the tape was the sound of the water, wasn't it? <laughs> Interesting. Wow, so that was the tape. I actually got goosebumps from that. Oh, at that point, there was some stuff happening. Ooh. Stepsister and diary. We're getting more of diary, huh? Um, I'm hoping, though, like I was saying earlier, oh, there's a lot in this episode, really. I'm hoping we do eventually, like commenters have said, and I said this a few times in, in, in throughout this reaction, I do want to see more from his eternal monologue, right? We've already done the sister a lot, which I think it helps out a lot because she's very closed off. They're both closed off. I've said this before, but I want to know what his thought process is more of. Like I said, another reactions. I think we get, we can kind of understand what his thought process is, but I kind of want to know more what his thought process is. Because um, at this point, this episode, you can clearly tell he was trying to help her relax, trying to help her push her to do something that she wants to do but she's putting up this facade so much of her being independent. I want to grow up. I got to get out from my situation. I got to make sure mom doesn't have to rely on me and all this stuff, or I don't have to rely on mom either. And all this stuff. And the mom is like, she loves going to the pool. She hates the heat, but loves the pool. So obviously she, she obviously really loved and she didn't seem like she grew out of it either. Right. She loved the water. And we have the little tank thing there. Um, she was overthinking it. And then she listened to the tapes and then you can refer the tape thing as like, yeah, he likes going to the, the water uh, and stuff like that. So maybe, you know, she was like, oh, he likes going to it. Maybe I should do it. Thinking more of him. You could kind of take it that way. Also, though, I wish Mom Could Come is a very much a, a flag for me because it's like our boy's got some, Muta's got some stuff, right? Just like our girl does. So he needs to start processing his own feelings on things. And I hope we get that more of that in this season. Um, We'll see. Uh, I really, I, once again, I, I like the slow burn. I think it's fine. I think it's perfect. The shots didn't linger too long for me in this episode, as opposed to the, the last episode. One f finicky looking sh walking shot to me that took me out a second, but it's a nitpick more than anything. Um, but yeah, her putting up her walls because he was getting really too close to those walls and her, and her feelings for him obviously are there. And she was in a bad mood because of it. And then like he even said, hey, don't run away. Let me, let me, please l listen to me. You're going to crash if you just keep doing all this stuff. You've got to get time to relax, to rest, to, to mental health day, to, re to unwind, or else you're just going to fail out or bail out or crash out, like all those different things, right? It's a lot of easy guys start because people overwork themselves, you know? She also is not going to live her life. She's going to look back on her teenage years as wasted because she didn't do more fun things, you know? No regrets, right? No regrets in life. Um, but I understand where she's coming from still. And I'm glad that this is her opening up more to him slash pushing herself out of her old her old comfort zone that she fell into. And now we just got to get him uh, going more, I think, too. Very interesting. Because you could read the whole thing about her talking about the senpai. Like, if you two are going out, just tell me. He's like, well, what do you mean? We're not going out. What? Once again, I think that's a flag. Basically, him being oblivious slash not understanding his feelings either. And her saying, I don't want to influence you. It's also like, well, I have feelings for you too. Jealousy a little bit too is there with her. So it's like, I don't want to influence you at all because, you know, reasons, right? But I'm curious. I'm very curious where we're going to go from here. If we're going to get the pool next episode or not. I'm very curious where we're going to lead up because looks like we're getting another diary. I would like another season of this. I don't know if it will, to be honest. Like I, I hear people talking about the show. Quite a bit, and you know, anime trending's got some good rankings on it and stuff like that. But I would have to see if it's getting enough popularity worldwide for a second season. Because if it doesn't, I'm just to be honest with you. I'm reading this light now. I need to know, right? I need to know the feelings. I knew a lot, and I may I may go back and start rereading stuff that or reading stuff that that's already been covered just to see the more 
context, I should say, of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm ranting now and diatribing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, get out of your comfort zone.